Good afternoon, hello, it's Tuesday. Um, I'm not sure if anybody's even on. Um, I've kind of come on a little bit impromptu because I've been out and about all morning. So uh, before I pop out again this afternoon, I thought I would come on with my day one tip and snip as I shared with you last week. And over the next three weeks on a Tuesday and Thursday, I'm gonna jump on live. It won't be for very long. It'll be a couple of minutes just to give you a little bit of a tip about working with your clients in 2021 on their, well, to make them or to help them be as efficient and productive as possible. And I'm also going to give you a little snip or a little snippet of the Standout in 2021 programme that's starting on the 11th of January. So let's get underway. So my first tip for working with your clients for next year, as I mentioned in the, um, in the video last week, it kind of... Um, it, it came in from nowhere, didn't it, this year? None of us were expecting it. Um, and next year, obviously, we need to be a little bit more organised and prepared, and we will be more prepared. So um, consider, and you might do this anyway, but if you don't, those clients that you work with on a regular basis, maybe, that you have a very good relationship with, or even the ones that you only work with every now and then, um, or are brand new clients, have a look at... Um, having a chat with them about their strategy for next year as well because it's really important that we're looking at our strategy but super important that our clients are thinking about their strategy and how can you help them with that to make them be as productive and efficient over the next year as possible having a think about breaking it down into chunks so maybe months maybe quarters they might be cyclical, they might be specific events that they get involved in over the year. It's also a great way for you to really get to understand a little bit more about how your clients work, what's important to them, what are they thinking about and how do they want their business to grow. So think about getting in a strategy, strategy session with them at the start of next year maybe over January, February time. If you can get it in early, that would be brilliant. And work with them on their strategy plan for the next 12 months. And like I said, break it down. So is it events? Is it cyclical? Is it, um, is it monthly? Is it quarterly? Is it only seasons? So really have a think about what's important for them and what do they need to do to plan for next year, okay? Um, as I said, there's still time to book on for the Standout in 2021 mentoring programme, which starts on the 11th of January. We've got some great VAs um, already signed up and I'm, I'm super excited to be working with you in the first couple of months of next year. So what I wanted to do over the, these next six sessions or these next six live videos is to share a little bit about each um, module that we're going to be working on. And obviously it's best to start at the beginning um, and it's probably something that we all aim to do or it's probably on the to-do list is to have a look at where you are in your business at whatever time. So what better place to start at the start of the year, especially after this year. So we're going to be really starting at the beginning. So we're going to be looking at where you are in your business now. And I've kind of posted a few things over the last couple of weeks or months about having a look at what kind of um, things are you are you spending um, your business income on? So, I mean, I did a list of mine and it's kind of like Calendly, um, Lead Pages, MailChimp, all these kind of things. So we're really going to be taking some time to have a look at where are you in your business now? Where do you want it to go? What do you want it to look like at the end of next year? What are your goals? And we'll maybe do some personal and some business goals. But I'm not going to be going into massive, massive amount of detail and for you to be setting yourself really weird targets and thinking, God, by 20, end of 2021, I want to have tripled my business. If that's doable, absolutely amazing. But I want it to be really, really manageable and um, achievable. So all those kind of um, smart targets and all of those things. Um, yeah, so we're going to be looking at um, business goals where you are now, uh, what are you actually spending your money on? Are you, even with your things like insurance, are you getting the best deal? So we're going to work on some things like that in the first, within the first module, within the first week. 
um, and a little tiny snip again about what it's actually going to look like. So it's not a massive amount of time that you're going to need to spend on these modules every week. There's a decent amount of time, but it's not going to interfere with your weekly client work. Um, you can still get in marketing time, that kind of thing. But it's a real good reminder of working with working back on your business and really getting it to the state that you want it to be in. So my first tip for uh, working with your clients to be as efficient and productive as possible is to get some strategy planning session in with them. Even if it's just one, even if it's just on email, even if it's one Zoom call, we've all got time to be meeting with our clients a little bit more now. Um, and your little bit of a snip from the mentoring programme is going to be about where we are right now and where do we want to go and looking at all of those. So that's it, really. Um, it is Tuesday. Uh, gosh, three, I think three more sleeps to Christmas, maybe. Hope you're ready. Um, hope you're going to manage to get some time off. I put a post in the other day to see when people are finishing all kind of different times, but and people are dipping in and out of work. Absolutely great if that's what you can do. I will be doing that as well. And some people completely turning off, which is fantastic. Whatever you do, have a most amazing time. I will be back with you on Thursday, on Christmas Eve. Might even get, buy a little Santa hat, put that on maybe. Um, yeah, I'll be back with you for um, tip and snip number two. So have a wonderful couple of days and I'll see you later. Take care, bye.